the thing I'm about to say does not apply to every single person. But there are many of you that this applies to, which is why I'm making this video, because I got this question so many times in the stream last night. So please just pay close attention so that way you don't waste your dragon stones and waste your chances of pulling any of the characters or even the part two characters which are coming in about two ish weeks or so before i continue i do want to say thank you again for all the love and support and for a really quick challenge if you pulled broly or gogeta in the first multi you got caught lacking today drop down give me three push-ups and you gotta subscribe it is what it is and look the reason why i'm saying that look i got lucky but i didn't get first multi lucky okay people who pull these characters first multi congratulations but you stole that luck from other people who got shafted and that's not nice all right so you got you got caught lagging today do some push-ups and you got caught lacking so you got to subscribe it is what it is if you didn't pull them first multi you're safe today don't subscribe don't even like the video just sit back relax and grab some snacks shout out to Corey. let's talk about this okay so look i know again the discounts for these banners are incredible step four being free step seven being guaranteed featured and discounted multis along the way is incredible but there are people who pulled exactly what they wanted already in part one if all you wanted was gogeta and you got him stop summoning stop don't go for Broly, just stop. If you pulled, if you only wanted Broly and you got him, stop summoning. You're good, stop. Who cares about Gogeta? You don't care about Gogeta, right? So, so, so don't even don't even try. If you pulled one copy of each, don't go for dupes. Just stop and wait for part two. The reason why I'm saying that is because you already won. Beast Gohan is the best character in this anniversary by, I wouldn't say a super long shot, but by a long shot. He is the best character in the game, and this is the best banner, value-wise, that the anniversary will have to offer. If you can, you can stack up this banner with the Broly banner, and there are some characters here and there that sure could be better. But overall, the value on this banner is just incre just better than every any other banner this anniversary has to offer. So if you walk, if you already have what you wanted from part one, being one of the characters or the other character or both don't get selfish don't go for dupes please understand that this discount step should also apply to part two simply because this isn't a dual dokkan festival type discount this is a carnival and dokkan festival type discount and part two has the same carnival and dokkan festival format so we should be seeing the same kind of discount be also applied to beast gohan and the gammas i understand you want to take advantage of the free multis and the guaranteed featured and sure if you really want to finish the rotation you definitely can but it's like remember you need 255 dragon stones to complete one full rotation on beast gohan and you need the same for the gammas if you do want the gammas please if you pull what you want don't get greedy you should definitely and 100 percent save for beast because you already have what you want you already won there are people who are not pulling these part one characters and that's definitely you know a place where you you have to really question do you continue summoning or do you save for beast if you already tried your luck you didn't get what you wanted and you still have some stones to spare if you really want these part one characters summon right summon on what you want but if you already have what you want getting greedy is not going to help you because the best character in the game hasn't even dropped yet and you really want to give yourself a shot at beast gohan I will also mention that the rainbow tickets will give you a free multi on whatever banner of these four. I think my, uh, I think my screen, oh, there we go, we're good. Yeah, so the free multi, the, the 77 multi, the 50 ticket, 77 character multi will be, um, you can use that, those tickets, I'm, I'm losing my words here. Uh, you can use those tickets on any one of these four banners. You can only select one banner and use all those tickets. So if you want to say, you know what, I'm going to use those tickets on Gammas, that's a great plan. If you want to use them on Beast, that's a great plan. If you want to use them on Broly or, or, or Gogeta, that's also a great plan. It just depends on what you want. But I'll say this. If you want to, if you're able to get Beast off those tickets, that is an insane steal. Because you didn't use stones for Beast. You managed to get him. And now you can use those stones for any of the other three banners. But right now, you have to decide where you want to use those tickets. Because if you don't decide that, what you're going to do is waste all your stones 
trying to spread them out on all these banners, not pull what you want, and then use those tickets to then to, to use them on a banner, and then you end up not pulling which it's just gonna be a bad experience. And I'm not saying planning anything is guaranteed to get you what you want, but it's a better structured way of going about it, right? So for those who let's say really care about Beast Gohan, and let's say you know you already pulled what you want, if you already summoned in part one, you already pulled what you want. Using the tickets on Beast is really not a bad idea. If you don't pull Beast with the tickets, I mean, look, you tried, it is what it is. Don't lie to yourself and say, yeah, you should have done this. It's not worth to have that mental gymnastics going on. You make your decision. It is what it is. If you get it, congratulations. If you don't, again, it is what it is. And then you can go ahead and use your stones. I understand that since most people want Beast Gohan, I wouldn't be surprised if most people get shafted on Beast Gohan. This game has a really weird and funny way of not giving you exactly the thing you really, really want, you know? And most of us are really looking at Beast Gohan, so I could imagine, even though if you got really lucky in, in part one, I would not be surprised if part two just shafted you. So trying your 77 character multi-luck on Beast Gohan could be really beneficial for you and if you don't pull them then sure you can go ahead and use your stones but if you know for a fact you're gonna dump a crazy amount of stones into beast then try your luck on gammas maybe you know and see uh, look if you can pull the gammas at least you don't have to use stones on this banner so look all i'm trying to say is do not get greedy if you got what you want already save to part two don't be greedy for dupes sometimes dupes take a long time to pull it's not worth it you're going to need at least 255 dragon stones to pull off a full rotation on beast gohan assuming that the discounts stay the same which they definitely should because this isn't a dokkan festival exclusive discount step this is a dokkan fest and carnival banner discount step which is exactly what part two will be offering so please just throw caution to the wind no 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 don't throw caution to the wind stay you know you know just don't waste your stones. If you have what you want, save till part two. And if you don't have what you want just yet, ask yourself what you care about the most. If what you care about the most is Broly, summon. If you care about the most is Gogeta, summon. If what you care about the most is Beast, save. And if you if you if what you care about the most, sorry, is the Gammas, then save. That's how you have to go about it. Write out what your priorities are and stick to those priorities. The last thing you want to do is disregard your own priorities pull a character that you sh that you you know it's cool but that's not really what you truly wanted and then get shafted in what you truly wanted if you have what you want save if you don't write out your priorities and follow and stick to those priorities and even if you don't get what you want at you can't be mad at yourself that you tried you can't be mad at yourself that damn i shouldn't have spent all those stones it's better look i would say it's better to not pull beast because you know you got unlucky versus not being able to pull beast because you you can't afford the the guaranteed feature step because you burned all your stones because you were just so crazy and you couldn't stop yourself from summoning right because you just had no plan in place when if you if you stop summoning on gogeta when you know you should have then you would probably have one to two more rotations on beast that you could afford right so don't if you're not going to pull beast let it be because the game sucks rather than you not you know controlling your summons and 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 not being able to really you know budget your dragon stones don't don't make it a you problem make it a game problem and it's a lot easier to to, to you know i guess digest that way you know even though they, they both suck it, it, hopefully you understand what i'm saying anyways i'm going to now be talking about um the best team for gojo gogeta now i don't know what the heck i just said but gogeta and broly in the next video so make sure to stay tuned uh, hopefully I can stream tonight. I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.